What is a pre-shift? And how are you supposed to run a pre-shift meeting in your restaurant, especially when not everybody comes in at the same time? I'll share that with you in just a moment. I'm Dave Scott Peters, restaurant expert, coach, and creator of the Restaurant Prosperity Formula. I've been coaching restaurant owners since 2003, and I'm really glad you're here to learn. Today, I wanna to talk about how to run a pre-shift meeting in your restaurant. But before I do, if you like tips and tricks like this, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and oh yeah, that bell so you're notified when my next video tip comes out. And for more tips and tricks for running a profitable restaurant or to hear restaurant owner success stories, make sure you tune into my podcast, Restaurant Prosperity Formula, found on all the popular podcasting services. So what is a pre-shift meeting? It's also known as a lineup. What is it? A pre-shift meeting is your opportunity to train your team ongoing on a daily basis. It's your opportunity to keep everybody informed of any policy or procedure changes. It gives you a chance to assign side work and sanitation tasks before the shift even starts and much more. When should you hold a pre-shift meeting? Well, pre-shift, right? Before the shift. And this is where I would teach my servers in a full service restaurant, if they work for me, to come in 15 minutes ready, dressed and ready before their shift. Now that does not mean wet hair, a brush in hand, uniform shirt draped over their arm, dressed and ready. Yes, I have to pay them. And you do wanna make sure you schedule accordingly that if you're bringing them in at say 345, that's what their schedule says because the shift really starts at four. Now the reason being is because it gives us 15 minutes to get everybody on the same page. What should you cover in your pre-shift meeting? Well, daily specials, soups, entrees, desserts, anything that's special, a feature for the day. You're going to talk about any special promotions. Are you running a coupon? Do you have a Mother's Day special? What are you doing? Everyone needs to know so it's not a surprise when a coupon shows up or a promotion shows up. You wanna communicate your contests you may be running. Now that could be contests for your guests or but primarily contests for your salespeople, your servers, your bartenders, even if you team them up, what is the contest? Is it server bingo? Is it server poker? Is it anyone who sells these things gets an entry to win something? Important to do. It's a great opportunity to train and talk about house, house policies from cell phones to uniform policies to keep everybody informed. It's a constant training tool. You have the ability to train new procedures. Hey, we just got a new uh, coffee maker, a new iced tea maker. This is how we're going to seat people at, at the door, or right, greet them and then seat them. Any procedures you want to change gets everybody on the same page. You can train sanitation standards and assign tasks. Again, train, 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 but those things that are important to you. You get to assign daily, weekly, and monthly side work duties. So everybody knows what's respons what they're responsible for when they start the shift. And in the day of age where we're stagger starting, I get it, you sit there and say, hey, I can't do this, David. I can't bring everybody in at the same time because you just taught me to bring people in 15 minutes later, 30 minutes later, an hour later, so I'm not paying people to stand around. So what should I do? Great point, and I want you to continue that. You're gonna put pre-shift meeting notes together. They're actually gonna be handwritten out, ready to go, or heck, you can type them up and print them off, don't care. But you're gonna have a pre-shift note, meeting notes, basically agenda. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna post those pre-shift notes after you've run your pre-shift with live people. And as people come in for their shift, they read them and they initial that they've read them. Then, after they've done that, at the end of each shift, you're gonna take them, put three hole punch, put it in a binder and keep it for you to review to make sure it's being followed. Now I may not keep them more than a week or two weeks. It's really just a record. Did all my employees initial? Are we communicating what I want communicated that we talk about in manager meetings? If you want a smoother operation, one where everyone is on the same page, then you're gonna to wanna to start to implement a pre-shift meeting today. I can tell you member after member say this simple system has changed their world by getting the whole team moving in the right direction together. If you're tired of not being able to leave your restaurant because no one else knows how to run it, 
I wanna make sure you know it doesn't have to be that way. You can leave your restaurant. It is possible to build a team of people who know how you want the restaurant to run with trained and responsible people in place. You can give yourself time away. What would you do if you had time away from your restaurant? Would you sleep better? Would your relationships improve? Would you feel more relaxed? These are all things you deserve to experience as a business owner. It's why we own our own businesses. If you would like to learn how to own a restaurant that doesn't depend on you to be successful, click the link in the description to watch a free video to learn exactly what you have to do. Also, be sure to subscribe to get my weekly tips and watch these two videos to get more information and guidance for running a successful restaurant.